late, we're late, we're freaking late as usual. <sighs> Car's a goddamn mess. I'm driven. I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. We're just late. No matter. I'm always late. Doesn't matter. I don't care. So, yeah, what's been going on? Just been a cluster of a week and two weeks, really. Like, oh, it's just been crazy. Um, so many big announcements ahead to come in this video. We'll, we'll talk about them. So, some awesome, some, I mean, I feel like I'm making the same video. I won't get into details. You'll see and hear about that later. Right now, we got to get to the dentist. Uh, and I'm late, and there's cars on the other side of me. So, sweet. Definitely going to be late. But, I don't care. Because, it happens. Oh, bye, Wally. Bye. Well, got my tooth drilled, or whatever. See, I have hypoplasia on my teeth. Um, it's like a staining. When, when, I was, when you're a baby, and you have really high fever, sometimes that can affect your teeth. All right, I gotta turn on this freaking car. That's way too hot. Yeah, same. So, hypoplasia is something that can affect you when you're a baby sometimes like if you have really high fevers or if you're sick a lot it'll stain your teeth like a yellowish tint in certain spots and you also get some sort of like calcium deposits kind of like in your fingernails how you'll get random little white spots kind of like that on your teeth so i grew up having a lot of those and they faded away a lot of my like teenage early adult years but i had one pretty bad one on this tooth when i was 18 i was able to do the procedure surgery thing or whatever where they'd like cut it out and then like put a false like concrete type front on there. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so I did that and every once in a while it'll like shift or whatever and I'll have to get it like resealed and like um, they'll do like a little mini saw and they'll put it in place. I don't know how to explain it. They basically make it flush with my tooth. The like the, the concrete fake mix thing and they'll flush it with my tooth. So that's what I do this morning. I totally forgot about it. I was getting rid of all my old clothes and like random stuff. Just doing some some summer cleaning before school because we got school in about two weeks, which is horrifying. But yeah, that's what's going on today. And right now I don't really have anything going on. I'm meeting my dad in Arlo to play some golf. But we got like two hours to kill at least. Really three, but shit. So now we got to get some food or something. I don't know what to do. We got an open day. Let's see what's going on. What's up? hoping he was going to say, never mind. I didn't realize how freaking homeless I looked today until I looked in the mirror. Holy man. What's going on with his hair? And uh, Man, I'm just in hobo mode. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, we'll do a little, uh, little cooking or something. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Cause I've been watching a lot of Trailer Park Boys. I don't know if you guys ever watch that show. Check it out. I just got like, everywhere I go, I feel like I want to talk like J-Rock. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? I don't know, I just get a kick out of him. Once you, once you realize just how stupid it is, it becomes a little more funny. Well, we're here, we're queer, and we're gonna make some food, I guess. I was, I was kind of Every time I try to cook something out of these stupid freaking bags or whatever, I always screw it up. I seem like there's always too much sauce or something. I don't know what it is. And I always put less than instructed, so let's see if I can't screw this up. But I gotta, I gotta document this. I'll do to the T instructions, and I ain't a construction guy. By construction, I mean instruction, and also construction. So here we go. It says cooks in 10 minutes. I'm calling BS. 
So we'll give it if it's done by 320, I'll be impressed. Wait, wait, let me let me tell you something. Where do I even put you guys? I don't even know. Everything's either too short or too high. Oh, right here. Oh yes. What? Perfect. Are you kidding me? All right. Let's see if we got the necessary ingredients to make. I think all we need to steal is water and and milk maybe. I don't. We can find a pan. I know we can. <gasps> I bet it's over here. Is it over here? Yeah, boy. It's your boy. It's your boy. You know, remember I said I was gonna do it to the TC. I told you I can't do instructions. I'm just, I'm just free balling. I'm not even. I'm just guessing work here. Perfect. Look at this. <laughs> it's that easy. And you guys can't even see. Awesome. I mean, look at this. Step one. Mix stuff. We mixed it. Woo! Now we need to find some butter. We need to find some butter in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Oh, butter acquired. Hey. Yo, woo! Ah, oh, I spilled. All part of the plan. All part of the plan. Don't let me. I needed. I see. I knew I had a little too much, so I just needed just, just a little less. One teaspoon will do this much. That's sure. Teaspoon? Yeah. Sure. Whatever. All right, here we go. Step two. Light it, you know what I'm saying? Oh God, we're gonna run out of juice here. Oh God, okay, how do we use these? Quick start. Woo! When I used to live here, I used to sneak up here every night and I'd make ramen noodles or macaroni or something. While this is cooking, starting to boil here, you know what I'm saying? What better time to explain to you what's been going on? So, if you recall, we made a, I made a video like a month and a half ago saying where, where we've been, where EJ was in Canada and I was in Florida and I got all sick. Um, well, that happened again. I got hospitalized for another five days. I was in our local hospital. I couldn't do anything. I, was, I wasn't allowed to eat. I wasn't allowed to drink water, nothing. I went in for my normal infusion, like... When I got there, I had a fever like 102. I didn't feel sick or anything. Apparently, my heartbeat was way high, too. And they're all freaked out, like, oh, we might not be able to give this to you. You need to go to urgent care, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, what's going on? So I called my grandma up because she's a, she's a nurse, respiratory therapist. So she came and tried to help with the situation. And basically, after four and a half hours, they decided that I could do my medication and then I would have to go be hospitalized. So. And it was just a fiasco and it sucked. So that was the first day. And then I sat in the ER most of the night until I had a room ready and then I found out I was gonna be hospitalized. After they gave me a CAT scan, MRI, a surprise colonoscopy. I had like, oh, it was awful. Yeah, so after two days of sitting there, my doc comes in, he's like, yeah, we're gonna let you go tomorrow. And I'm like, awesome, thanks doc, you know. They didn't do anything for me besides put me on fluids and um, gave me a little bit of steroids here and there. I'm, currently on a lot of steroids so I'm gonna get really fat faced and I'm gonna get probably a lot of acne and I'm just gonna look really disproportional but it'll help me out and hopefully I'll be able to get off it and do other medications but for now it's gonna suck so every time I feel like you're gonna see me in a video I'm just gonna get bigger and probably a bunch of acne so <laughs> take it in now I'm already starting to get a little chub on there um, anyway so after so uh, two days sorry so two days I was in there and my doc said, you're going to be able to go home. I'm like, awesome. So I was going to stay on that treatment and then start another infusion. I switched infusion medications and then I was going to do methotrexate or some sort of shot that I had to take once a week. And I was fine with that. I was like, okay, whatever. And then my dad was, my dad had just got there. I'm like, oh, you just missed the doc. I don't know if you want to talk to him. So we paged my nurse and my nurse pages the doctor and he comes back. He's like, you know what, Ethan? I was thinking he was gone for literally four minutes. We better do a colonoscopy. So after I haven't been able to eat for three days, he's gonna make me eat, not eat for another day and then have another colonoscopy. Oh, it just, it sucked. Luckily, Mason was there, he came out and visited me and whilst I was there, even crazier information happened. Um, I'm not sure if EJ is gonna make an announcement or anything, but drum roll, um, he got engaged. Yeah, he got engaged while I was at the hospital. I couldn't believe it, he didn't tell anyone. I mean, I kind of had an idea of what was going on to some extent. Me and him had looked at rings months ago, 
but I had no idea that like he was gonna do it then or oh it was absolutely crazy. I had no idea. Oh fuck. Guys, come on, what are you doing? Look out for me. What what are you doing here? You got one job. Anyway, yeah, so he got engaged, which is just absolutely nuts. I'm totally proud and happy for him. So yeah, him and Tori are getting married. Yeah, I've been out of the hospital for two days, so that's kind of where I've been and why we haven't had much content. And obviously, he was freaking busy with an engagement. So yeah, I went over there with Mason. Me, Mason, went over there for a grill out yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. I, like I said, either he'll make an announcement video or this is your guys' way of knowing. This is so much more content we're going to be able to bring now. We're going to have, obviously, have to videotape the wedding. We're going to have to do the bachelor party. Um, maybe I'm in the wedding. I don't know. Who knows? We don't know yet. I don't know when they announce any of that stuff. So that'll be interesting. I don't know. It's gonna be crazy. It makes sense. I mean, they've been they dated for like four years. Yeah, so he did it on her birthday, which is pretty special. I think they went to a waterfall, and I don't know. It's crazy, especially a year in the hospital. Like, it was good news, you know, lifted me up a little bit. But yeah, so shitty week for me, great week for him. So he's just, you know, busy with that stuff right now. Try not to let this freaking boil over here, guys. I don't know if it looks right at all. It's awfully milky. I don't know. Hopefully I didn't screw up. Um. Uh, pasta's turning out. I think it's going to be good. I'm trying to figure out if we should watch a little Game of Thrones or if we should watch Trailer Park Boys. I need a, I need a comment down in the comment section below to let me know what you would choose. I appreciate that. Other than that, I don't know how, if I'm going to film much of the golf at all. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to. The battery is low battery, it is about to die. Hopefully I can show the sh finished product for you guys. So I'm gonna end this segment right now, bring you back, let you see the final product of the food, see if it turned out as shitty as we all predict it will be. So thanks for listening, we'll see you in a minute. Turn on baby, look at that time, 3.20. Boom, look at that. Man, that probably looks so gross on camera, things always look worse. And it already looks like meh. <laughs> It looks good though, like, genuinely, like, let's get some natural light. That doesn't look too bad. Come on now. It looks, you know, it's from a bag. What do you expect? Come on, this isn't no gourmet food. You know? Yeah, I haven't been able to eat forever. So, like, I've been just on, like, an eating binge. Because, I, like I said, I didn't get to eat for four days in the hospital. And besides that, my stomach has just been so, and I've been in so much pain for the past, like, man, years, honestly. Now that sounds so, like, exaggerated, like, oh, you haven't been able to eat for years. But like not be able to eat and enjoy food. I've never I anytime I eat, anytime I do anything, I'm in pain. I'm, but but honestly, I haven't been able to eat without pain for so many years that the steroids are helping so much. Like I I can't express to you how much I ate yesterday and how enjoyable it is to be able to eat a meal and not sit in pain for hours after and just it's so awesome. So I've been picking up food. Like I'm spending all this money on food and I'm just enjoying it. Enjoying cooking, enjoying life. I have all sorts of new energy now. It feels so good. I only hope it continues from here and I get on the path to remission because I'll tell you what, I've struggled a lot, especially this summer. It's been a tough one with my Crohn's disease. I mean, I've been in and out of the hospital. I haven't really got to show you guys a whole much of that because I don't know. That's that's personal, man. I don't know. Me in the hospital, A, it's not really fun. It's a miserable place and I feel and look awful. So I just, I don't, I'm not in the mood to film that shit, so. But I'm out, I, I've i got a new spring in my step. I'm a new man, it's a new season. I'm excited, I'm excited for this future. So stay tuned guys, more videos. You know, we might lack here or there, but we're, we're, we're always around, don't worry. If you don't see a video for a while, never fear, we'll be back. Promise you that, so hope you enjoyed this weird me being late for the dentist, slash a little bit of cooking, slash weird update vlog um stay tuned we'll see ej soon maybe he'll make an announcement video um meeting up with him to film this week we're gonna film like three days he's got a new schedule i've got a new schedule so we're literally open now it's finally worked out where his work and my work don't collide and we have a few days every week to get on an exact like to get on an actual schedule and plan so super big news super awesome stay tuned we'll see you guys soon have a good day Oops, that looks good.